So we know that the Raspberry Pi can't deliver enough power through the USB to power the hard drive or the SSD. This requires 1.1 amp. This here requires one amp flat. So we're going to make a modification to this cable here which is going to have two plugs coming out of it now, one of which will go into a USB power supply, and the other one will go into the front of the Raspberry Pi. And first thing we need to do is open up this cable and expose the red five volt power line and the black ground line. We're gonna need that for both of our cables. We have a sacrificial cable over here. We're going to be taking this piece there. We're going to need to make two cuts. Um, one of them here-ish, somewhere where we can find a bit of the uh, wire, and another one up here so that we can snip them and pull it back to expose a bit of wire for us to play with. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a try. You wanna take this, and this looks like a four millimeter cable, maybe five, yeah. down a little bit from that cut so you can play. You may be able to see two little cuts. Next we want to cut along this wire here so that we can get inside. Don't use, don't do it this way. Now we have that little jump open. Cut through the little foil on the side or just pry it open with your finger. All right, now inside we see there's a black wire there. And there we can see the red wire. Now we need to open it up a little closer to the USB part, not the SATA part. If we cut it towards the USB part, we're gonna be disabling power from here. If we cut it towards the SATA part, we're gonna disable power from here, and that's not gonna power our drives. So you have to come back up here to make your other smaller cut. And this one just needs to be big enough for you to fish around inside so that you can snip the actual red and black wires. Mine's about a centimeter or more. You gotta be careful not to disturb all of the wires. You don't wanna cut the ones that aren't red or black. So there I have the black wire. And now I should be able to peel the black wire back and out. And then we have that much lead on our black wire. Do the same for the red. wires. We have to do that for this cable as well. So we're going to select a jump of that. And now we have to expose a little bit of the wire on here. We're actually going to shorten these a bit. We don't want them to be super long. All right, this looks pretty janky right now. Time to turn on the soldering iron. All right, now that the soldering iron is plenty hot, we're gonna grab a junk of solder 
we are. We're going to tin these wires, and by tinning the wires, I just mean adding some solder to them so that they're easy to work with later on. Just hold the, I don't have a stand or anything, but just hold the iron to the wires. It should warm up. What a hack job. But that's what I do. Gonna burn my table. sense, right? We don't actually need these tin wires as long as they are. I'm sure I'll step on those later. wires are really close together, but I'm just going to give her. That should be it for our soldering. Alright, now that we have our adapter loosely put together. We want to connect the hard drive. We're going to first plug that into our Raspberry Pi USB. Then we're going to plug it into our power supply. And we have life. Alright, it's detected our drive. So we're going to open that up. Here we are, we have files. I installed gparted so that we could take a look at the drive. And as you can see here, we have our SD card, but right here we have our 300 gig drive accessible via USB. I had Linux installed on that drive at one point. I guess it's still there. Unplug it from the power now. And just to give that another go, we want to make sure it's working for everything we want to try. should notice the SSD right away. There it is. All right, and again, we're going to open Gparted and just verify that it's seeing the whole drive. And there we are, that's the whole thing. So now we're good to tape it up and make it look pretty. solder job. I'm glad that didn't go inside the pie. We only need a small little jump of tape to get... Actually, we might even need to cut that a little smaller.
That looks pretty good. Good enough. And now another piece for over here. And now we have our adapter. I want to give that one more test run. We have life. And here's an added bonus. Grab yourself an OTG adapter. And you can even use this with a Raspberry Pi Zero. Well, that's it for another video from How to Break It. Now you can attach a hard drive or a solid state drive to your Raspberry Pi and have it run all the time. Like, share, subscribe, do the commenting thing, all that fun stuff. Uh, let me know what type of stuff you'd like to see. And if you thought this was neat, uh, part two is coming soon where we're going to be able to uh, boot off of this thing, have a swap, and actually make it perform like a pretty decent computer.